Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at Ohm's Law. What is Ohm's Law? Now in the previous video we saw that if you produce a potential difference across the circuit because of a battery or a voltage source, something like that, we produce an electric field which causes forces to exist on the charges which causes the charges to move and those moving charges then constitute a current through the circuit. Now we can do that, we can take this diagram of a circuit and, and write it as a schematic. This is what we would call an electrical schematic, where batteries are represented by this symbol. So there's the voltage provided by the battery. We have the positive end and the negative end of the battery, the high potential versus the low potential. This drives current through the circuit. Again, a voltage produces an electric field, which produces a force on the charges, which produces them, which causes them to move and therefore producing a current. But in the circuit, we will also find another component to that circuit, which is called the resistance. So that answers the question, is there anything in the circuit that opposes the flow of charges, or which is called, of course, a current? And the answer is yes. Conductor, as well as electrical components, oppose the flow of charges, which is called resistance to the current. So the units of that resistance is called ohms. One ohm can be written as one times omega. Omega is the Greek symbol that represents the unit of resistance. And this is where Ohm's law comes in. The current flowing through the circuit depends upon how much voltage you apply, which we already saw. The more voltage you apply, the stronger the current, the greater the current. But it's also inversely proportional to the resistance in the circuit. The greater the resistance, the smaller the current flowing through the circuit. And so you can then say that a current of one amp is produced when you have one volt applied to the circuit and in the circuit there exists a resistance of one ohm. So by definition, the units of current is amps, the unit of voltage is volt, and the units of resistance is ohms. So one amp equals one volt per one ohm. That is Ohm's law. Now, if you increase the voltage, for example, if you change the voltage to two volts instead of one volt, you will increase the current, doubling the voltage, you double the current, you now would have two amps of current. Or, if you have one volt applied, but you increase your resistance to two ohms, one divided by two is only a half an amp. So you can see, increase the voltage, increase the current, increase the resistance, you decrease the current proportionally. And that concept was known as Ohm's Law, who discovered that, and therefore the unit of resistance is named after Ohm. And that's how we know that the word dots. And that's what we know as Ohm's Law. The words just did not come out.